This is a project 10 years in the making. This is my 50 BMG build. And in this video, I'm gonna officially kick it off. Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. Yes, it's true. About 10 years ago, I started planning my 50 BMG content series, which was originally gonna be an OEM rifle off the shelf and some shooting and some reloading. Well, since then, I've started building my own rifles. This project has taken a lot longer to kick off than what I had planned, but it's gonna be way better. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of what this build is gonna look like. This build is gonna be a series, but it's also gonna be followed up by another series, which is a real ELR rig. We've got the, the bones of a real ELR rig. The first build will be 50 BMG, which will be fun. This is a big boomer. We're gonna be shooting tracers, APITs, whatever, right? This is just about having fun and having a powerful 50 caliber rifle. I recently got to know Paul Phillips, the king of one mile and king of two mile champion. He's gonna be mentoring me uh, in terms of how to do ELR shooting. He's gonna get me on steel at two miles, probably with one of his rigs. We're gonna meet up somewhere. And so as a follow on to this project, I'm gonna get a different bolt, probably for 375 Shytac, spin up a separate barrel and do a content series that's actual more serious ELR in focus. But we got a lot to talk about here. This rifle build started with this EX action. The EX is Bat Machines large format receiver. This thing is 12 inches long. It's this is insane. I mean, this is an absolutely insane piece of hardware and it's going to be the heart of the rifle. You can see the comical proportions even of the action wrench that I've got for this. I'm absolutely loving this. Okay, I've also got an Accurate Rifle Systems chassis. This is their ELR chassis with the Bipod EXT. And the actual bipod we'll be using, probably Accutac, still working out the details for that. But if you wanna see something that is ridiculous, check this out. This is what ELR folks use to get super, super steady on elevation for these really long range shots. Like, that is, ridiculously cool this is this is like overkill i'm totally totally into this project i absolutely can't wait to shoot this rifle so you see i got this accurate rifle systems chassis in the white i'm going to be blasting it and seracoding it and let me tell you i, I don't even know what it's going to look like yet but i do know it's going to look absolutely awesome we're going to do some special colors we're going to do some laser imaging possibly and I've got another project to share here on the channel. That, pub, that video is probably already public. You're gonna to wanna to check that out with laser imaging and a, a custom chassis Cerakote job, XLR MV Pro. So I'm gonna take my learnings from that. I'm gonna apply it to this. It will be absolutely, totally awesome looking. Okay, international barrels, one in 15 twist, 50 caliber barrel blank. You could <laughs> literally do a workout with this thing. And I'm gonna be Chucking this up in the Precision Matthews TL1660 lay, that's my bigger lathe from Precision Matthews. It's got a two and a half inch through spindle capacity. This is 1.75 inches at the shank. So we have plenty of room. Now, as a side note, I'm doing a customer job for Brandon over at Loopholt with a TACOM HQ structured barrel that's two inches in diameter, the blank. And with two and a half inches through spindle capacity, we are completely good to go. So I'm deploying the big guns for the lathe on this particular story. I'm gonna be using treble tooling. We've got a go and no-go gauge, we've got the freebore gauge, and we've got a 50 BMG body and neck reamer, and then a separate throater. I could pick the freebore that I want, I can custom tune this to some bullets. I'm working with Bruce Tom over at Bat Machine with some recommendations on that. Love having that capability. And I've got a separate video. You've seen this a few times now on the channel, how to make your own rigid reamer holder from a tailstock blank. This is Morse Taper number four for the TL1660. And check this out. This is so precisely machined that 
we've got the air pop, and then when you put the, the reamer in, it actually is an air seal without an O-ring. Kind of kind of crazy. And I've got this set. I'm going to I'm going to go for it. We're going to be on on the flat of the reamer with our set screw cuz this is a lot of torque when you're reaming. This is way bigger than the 300 PRC and 7 mm PRC kind of magnums that I've been reaming on the lathe. So, I'm looking forward to, to that challenge and with barrel vices, I'm typically using short action customs, but with this 1.75 inch barrel shank, I'm going to use my Brownells barrel vise, which has a 1.75 inch bushing diameter, the outer diameter. So I'm just going to take the bushing out, throw some rosin in, and that should work for torquing down the action. On the other end, on the muzzle end, we've got the APA Gen 2 Triple X Bastard brake. This has got a nut for self timer. Uh, type action on it and I'm going to thread this one inch by 14 which is of course what we've got here on the brake. Might also be showcasing a Fodera suppressor I believe somewhere around 20 inches in length just titanic proportions this whole thing. This is just the coolest build ever and I'm really looking forward to shooting those tracers armor piercing rounds all that across the canyon in the snow. In the snow right we're not going to be lighting any forest fires with this thing. That's the plan. And then of course the opportunity to treat this as an entire content series. Here's kind of what I have planned. The kickoff this video. We're going to do the barrel work. We're going to do the custom Cerakote and then putting it all together and breaking in. At minimum we're going to have a lot of video content for you to watch and enjoy. And then I'm going to get together with Paul and we're going to do ELR shooting. I'll do my follow-up build here. Plenty to keep you guys entertained with ELR kind of related stuff over the course of this year. So, if you have specific ideas for me for Cerakote, for instance, drop a comment. If you have feedback on what I've picked for components for this build, drop that comment and we'll start a discussion. Make sure you're subscribed because this is an entire series you're not going to want to miss. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're going to want to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.